Hello and welcome to Catalon API testing tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll explain you how you can sign up for Asana for free and then we'll use Asana API to explain you the API testing concepts using the real Asana API. Now, I'm on the Asana website, so if you go to asana.com website, you can try Asana for free. And if you go to pricing, they have different pricing options wherein you have the basic pricing or the basic structure, which is completely free. So there are other pricing options like premium business enterprise for which you have to pay the price. You can try it for free, but they are that you will be charged after certain period of time. So the best way is to start with the basic and then we'll go to the developers uh, account of Asana API and then we'll start using the Asana API after signing up. The reason I'm going to sign up for Asana API is to show you the actual test cases that we'll be writing through Asana API and then we'll verify those in the UI that you will sign up with. So, and the other reason is Asana API, you cannot hit those directly. You need to have the keys and tokens to authenticate before you can actually start hitting Asana API. So signing up is very important before you, you can actually follow the tutorial series of Catalone API testing um, tutorial that we are going to cover. So to start with the free account, we'll go to the basic pricing option and click on get started. Now it will ask for the email ID. So I'll just type in the email and you can type in your personal email ID. Um, so here it will say that please use your work email address so we can connect you with the with your team in Asana. Now, if you're not using your work email address, there'll be some restrictions in um, Asana. You won't be able to change your uh, login or the, the sign up that you are doing to the organization level and then you won't be able to create the team as well. So there are some restrictions. But let's use the personal email ID because most of you won't be having the business email ID. So in, in that case or the domain. So it's better to use your personal email ID and not to use your company email ID that you are uh, working in the organization. So I won't recommend that if you are trying to learn the API testing on your own. So just use your personal email ID and click on sign up. Now, once you are signed up you'll say it will give you a message that please verify your email address go to your email address and verify the email okay so what i'll do is here it gives an option continue with google so i'll just go ahead and continue with google and use the same email id to authenticate so i'll simply use the email id and provide the Google password. So rather than signing up with email and password, I'll use the Google account to sign up. So once I am signed up, it will redirect me to the app.asana.com, which is the home page of the sign up that you have done. Now, once you are on the home page, you will see, you will be able to see a lot of information that is available for your profile so here you can say you set up your profile so you provide your full name so i'll just say um, rcv academy for now and then for the team we'll just say we are just an it team and we'll create a team provide the same email i'll just add myself to the team and that's it Okay, so now you can see that on the home page, I have the team IT with one member in it. So now we are signed up. The next step is to get the API keys uh, or the authentication keys to start working with the API. So go to the profile here in the right hand side and click on my profile settings. Go to apps and under apps, you will see manage developer apps. Click on that and in the developer console it will give you an option to create personal access token personal access tokens 
are designed for the developers to authenticate so we are going to use these access tokens in our uh, catalone studio api scripts to authenticate to asana app account that we have recently created so click on new access token and then i'll just say this token will be used for education and training purpose and click on agree to the api terms and condition go through these terms and condition and then accept the terms and condition and click on create token so now you will see that the token has been created and this token will be utilized when we are doing authentication or using the oauth2 to connect with or to work with any of the asana api so just copy that and we'll use it in the catalone studio and in the next tutorial i'll show you how you can use it in catalone studio where you need to configure this token before you can hit the first request in the asana api so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching